What's up guys, Pyrostasis here, and this video is going to cover gem number 23. Now this place, usually I cover like the last 20 seconds of the approach to an object and then go from there. The problem I'm having with this place is, number one, there's an elder dragon that seems to be uh, really fond of the place, but unfortunately, because of the terrain, he won't land. So I have to take it to the front of the place. Well, at the front, there's these ghosts. So... We're just going to get into the thick of it, but I figured I'd do my intro prior to uh, to actually teleporting up there. Now, where we're headed is right here. It's Renevig's Fast. It's northwest of Right Run. It's south of Morithal, or northeast of Rorikstead, depending on which one you want to go to. The easiest approach is right here, because this is a massive cliff, this is a massive cliff, and this is a huge mountain. So, up on top of this mountain is actually one of those dragon head locations that I haven't investigated yet. So, you just want to be careful. You can't really get there any other way. I mean, you can come up this way, but you're going to have to do a lot of mountain climbing and it's just an annoying pain in the ass. But right here is a pretty straightforward approach. The key thing to worry about is the second you get within range, the ghosts are going to attack you. Now, there are subjugated ghosts, which means they really don't want to kill you, but they have to, which is kind of amusing. So, you'll kind of understand what I'm saying here in just a second. So they apologize the entire time that they're killing you, which I think is just hilarious. And there's that dragon. So he really won't stop attacking me, but since I can't kill him because he won't land, except up on the other side of the mountain, and I'm not really willing to spend, you know, 45 minutes plinking him to death, we're just going to go ahead and carry on with the story. Now these guys are pretty easy kills. Um... At least out here they are. But I'm going to go ahead and get inside before that dragon manages to kill my horse. And this will be gem number 23. don't remember if I said that or not yet. So second to last gem. The last gem is going to be located in a quest that I'm going to have to start. And I think that may actually be further in the main storyline. So that one's going to take a little bit of time. So this will be the last easy one, so to speak. Well, so far it's kind of creepy looking. We know we've got ghosts out front that uh, don't want to kill me, but will. So we'll see what we got further on. Looks like another ghost on the other side of this wall. No, no. No problem. <laughs> Not quite sure how you kill a ghost, but, you know, I'm cool with it. Poor bastard's already dead. I'm gonna have to kill him again. Oh, that's a really large skull. All right, gonna take all of the pots and let us go deeper into the belly of the beast. Well, I haven't triggered any traps yet, which means I'm about due for one. Don't see anything on the floor. But usually when I see these little dragon things, that they usually end up, I'm about to get burned, shocked, stabbed, gored, or snuck up on. But uh, so far, not so much. Interesting looking door. Alright. Somebody really needs to rehang that. And I'm not seeing stairs, so it looks like this is a one-way trip. Oh, nope, never mind. Oh, shut up and die like a man. Well, since these guys... Good lord, they got some nice money on them. Since these guys don't seem to have any casting, I'm going to go ahead and go dual wield, because I love it. What the fuck? just happened. There we go. Sorry, the uh, the system always confuses me because you left click for your right weapon, right click for your left weapon, which just doesn't seem natural to me. I mean, obviously, when you're swinging, you know, you left click is your primary attack, and if you're going to go sword and shield, it just makes sense that your shield would be in your left hand and your sword would be in your right hand, but 
when you're dual wielding it, it, it just doesn't work all that well. So, and especially when you have the names, uh, the the weapons names are identical. I do need to get to where uh, I need to enchant these bad boys so that I can change their names. I'm looking. Oh, oh, I see, I see another shout. Oh, fucking oh! going to kill this motherfucker. No, I'm going to open this door and then I'm going to fucking destroy you. Alright, so he's gonna try and kill me in here. Oh. Okay, shields up. Where the fuck did he go? Fucking invisible bastard. Switching up to my fire. Thou! I love this shield, but I hate this guy. Gah! He's like dual wielding those fucking fireballs! Alrighty, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, if I didn't have that shield, that would have sucked. Holy fuck. Alright, so... Well, <laughs> here's the unusual gem we were looking for. That's gem number 23. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to go ahead and... Horror of the Castle. Destruction increase. Nice. What dagger? Iron Dagger of Binding. Did I loot him yet? Imp stool. There's the key. More staffs of fireballs. Everybody has this staff of fireballs. There must be like a Walmart around here that just distributes these things. Fourth of Evening Star E200. It never ceases to amaze me how many fall for my simple trap. I may have to consider tweaking it a bit, though. Many of them in recent months have been dying the second they hit the cage floor. Putting a foot or two of water in didn't help either. In fact, it may actually be making things worse. The last one to fall in broke both his arms and legs. He proceeded to float there and eventually drown. If it weren't for the water, I would have had a great time twisting his mind until I decided to end him. Eighth Evening Star. Captured another one. Finally! It's definitely true that whatever these orcs gain in size and strength, they lose in mental capacity. I'm amazed they can even speak. He kept saying that when he gets out, he'll break me in half like a twig. Persuasive, isn't he? Anyways, I told him that if he holds his head under the water for as long as his candle wick lasts, I'd let him go free. Stupid thing drowned within minutes. <laughs> I never tire of this. Thirteenth of Evening Star. I haven't captured a soul for days, and the last victim died on impact. Of course, I was still able to reclaim his soul, but without the thrill of killing or any kind of torture. The process lacks that special something. The rec reclaimed souls that I've summoned make decent targets, but... Taking a mortal's life is so much more sweet. So this guy was just a real sick fucker. Oh, I guess he got tired of waiting for people and ended up killing his assistant. Oh, another black soul gem. Awesome. Elven Bow of Dread. Keep that for disarmor. And that is the first piece of glass armor I have seen in the game yet. Take these pots. Oh, another heal potion. Not sure how you die in a cave when you have a heal potion. That just seems uh, a little counterproductive to me. What do we got here? Dwarven battle axe. 
And then anybody over here? Oh, at least he isn't racist. He kills everybody equally. Ah! See, this is the one victim in this whole thing that I'm act I'm gonna actually lock it back in here and leave. If you guys haven't seen the uh, the quest that I did earlier that has a dog following you around for like a week, you need to go watch that and you'll understand why I have a hatred for dogs in this world. I really like dogs in real life, but you know, in this world I hate dogs. Just like I hate children. Alright. Yeah, that, that doesn't look scary. Alright. More pots. And something tells me, since I killed him, probably all the subjugated ghosts that were here previously are probably gone. Well, these both look like identical doors, so odds are they'll... Well, I guess not. So apparently, unlike most summons in the game, uh, killing the master does not stop the subjugated ghosts, which is interesting. As Spock would say, fascinating. I forget what movie it was where the, or maybe it was a book, I think it was a book. There was a, it was kind of like a zombie apocalypse, but a, kind of like a play on, yeah, it was a book. Uh, it was a play on the zombie apocalypse idea. The uh, a disease broke out that made people go crazy, and they wanted to kill uh, everyone they saw. And uh, you know they would be apologizing the whole time while they basically ate you alive. It's rather disturbing. Let's see where this drops me off at. Fucking dragon, man. I hate that dragon. The problem with that dragon is he won't land uh, on the, the territory that you that you can do. He, uh, he lands up in the mountains above where you can get on the side, so you, you can't kill him. And then you take, I mean, you can if you're ranged, but, you know, like me, I'd have to fire shout him down slowly, inch by inch, and that would take absolutely forever. No, no, don't worry about it. Did I? Oh, I thought I was going to behead a ghost. See, that, that, then I would be able to quit the game because I've accomplished everything. When you can chop the head off a ghost, life life is good. What the fuck is this? Can you break through it, maybe? Eh, alright. What do we have here? Oh, I'm hearing the word, so I'll go up there in just a second once I, uh, what do we have here? Alright, so there's the little trap. We're gonna expertly avoid it this time. And let's see what shout this is. Kine, Kine's Peace. That sounds like a completely useless shout. Kind's peace. Soothes wild beasts who lose their desire to fight or flee. Ugh. I have ten dragon souls, so I guess I'll go ahead and unlock it, but I, I, I don't think I'll be using that. Peace just isn't my style. What the fuck? An empty chest? Oh, that guy is a real bastard. How the fuck did you get up there? Oh, okay, now I see. What's up, big guy? Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, little ghosty. Da -da -da, da -da -da. That totally looks like a trap, but apparently not. More switches. Loves his switches. And yeah, this this looks perfectly safe. Alrighty, let's see what we got across here. Ooh. That is 
nice. Wonder what got him. I guess the wait, what was that? Oh, venison chop. And this, my friends, is why you explore every cave. Completely. Oh, son of a bitch. Open. Motion of vigorous healing. I like that. And I think that's pretty much everything here. Yep. That should be it. So, that will conclude the video for number 23 uh, and the uh, peace shout that I'm sure nobody will ever want ever. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please click that like button. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I will catch you guys in another clip.